ESPN season-long journey to the tourney. Put that spotlight on the games that impact the tournament. And tonight we're talking number one seed from the best conference in college basketball in 2013. Perhaps it's game of the year. Number one, Indiana. At number four, Michigan State. So many storylines. Nick Vitale, it's your one-on-one -on -one for tonight. Well, I'll tell you, Mike, it starts with Zeller. Zeller's got to be much more active inside than he was in game one. He's got to want the ball on the interior, and he's got to be aggressive. On the other side, Keith Eppley only played 19 minutes, got in foul trouble. They need him big time because Price is not available. So the bottom line is he cannot get in foul trouble. Indiana has lost 17 consecutive games in this building. Wow. These are the starters trying to change it. The freshman Yogi Ferrell, the senior Jordan Holes, Victor Oladipo off an ankle injury against Purdue Saturday, Christian Watford, and Cody Zeller, third in scoring, second in rebounding in the league. And for the Spartans, 22-4 and four, on a great run. They've won 11 of the last 12. Keith Appling and Gary Harris, the freshman in the backcourt, with Brandon Dawson and the two bigs that Dick was talking about, Derek Nix and Adrian Payne. in one of the best atmospheres in all of college basketball. Oladipo play off that ankle injury. I watched him throughout the shoot around. He was ready to go. So are we. I know Magic's ready to go. He wanted to go put a uniform on and play. He's so excited. He said, look at this place. It's rocking. Dick, this is a beautiful atmosphere for college basketball. Let's get it on. Payne wins the tip. Michigan State. Worked on winning the tip and an appling field goal from the outside at their shoot around today. They got Farrell playing on Appling up front. Appling's had a terrific year, Magic. He's done a great job at that point. Yeah, he really got his teammates involved as well as picking and choosing when to get himself involved on the scoring end as well. Shot clock down to 10. Here is the freshman Harris guarded by Hull. Nix gets doubled. He spins, twists. Crashing the glass is Adrian Payne and back to the other. Transition by Zeller, a good passer in the post. And from 13, Zeller breaks the seal on this one. The consensus national player of the year in the preseason. He's got great touch matching for a big guy. He can pass it, he can shoot it. How many big men can go out on the perimeter, put it down on the floor, and then take a jump shot and go in like that? He's incredible. He's got a terrific skill set. He's got to get a little more fiscal, a little more tougher, but that will come. This is Adrian Payne, who hit some outside shots in the first half of their first meeting in Bloomington. A three from Appling is off, and the rebound for Indiana, and there is Victor Oladipo. Oladipo is so quick. Christian Watford, who's been on fire from the outside, misses, and Payne clears the glass as the Spartans push for the first time. You're right, Mike. He's shooting like 55% in the last five games from the trifecta Watford. Dawson needs to do more magic for Michigan State to have a great night. Yeah, because now he has his explosiveness back, and he has his confidence up. Ever since him and Payne got into that little... Uh, Altercation. <laughs> Both of their games have picked up, so it's been good for Michigan State. Well, Dawson very athletic, a tough defensive player. He's had some injuries. Another take by Zeller denied inside. Payne on the push with Appling. Nice transition basket by Appling. He's been averaging about 16 a game in recent games. Came out of Persian High School, Magic. Ralph Simpson, Spencer Haywood, Mel Daniels. The list goes on and on. And Steve Smith, who was an All-American here at Michigan State as well, plays there. The 14, the attack by Oladipo. What a beautiful crossover move. I think he has that. That ankle is okay. <laughs> yep. you, nobody in America can stop Victor when he gets in that lane. He can explode to the basket so quick. That was an unbelievable move right there. Changing hands. I mean, that's all of some of the greats we've watched over the years. And that is what he does best. The takeaway, trying to go all the way. No travel. And Watford from the outside. Wide right. And they let him know about it. Just moved by all 
Oladipo. I mean, are you kidding me? This is Dwayne Wade when he played at Marquette. Changes from the right to the left. He's the most improved player, Magic, I have seen in my last 20 years at ESPN from where he was last year to where he was where he is this year. His unbelievable work ethic, like you, man, he lived with the basketball. Well, I hope all kids are listening to you out there because you can improve and work on your game if you put the time in. Gary Harris, Mr. Basketball in Indiana last year. The freshman who had a good game in Bloomington. Puts the Spartans back on top. And the other response from Holes, a three. For one thing, he could shoot the jump shot as well, Harris. His mom, by the way, Joe Holmes, her jersey's up in the rafters at Purdue. She was a great player. Dawson at Zeller. Great job of defensive preparation by Cody. Both these teams play really well on the defensive end. Mich Michigan State's got a challenge against them offensively. There he is deep, showing the use of the left hand, Magic. Well, first shot was a jump shot. Now he goes into the post, comes into the middle with the left hand. He shows the versatility of his game. Baseline, Knicks to Payne. become very important for this team this year. No question about it because Harris shoots the ball very well after going inside. They, their inside-outside game has really improved. Here he is, big man again. <laughs> Six points. So you, Zeller on early here, Dick. Yeah, Zeller really aggressive offensively. You can see that game plan was to say get him involved. I like Nixon. I like Payne. Payne's becoming an NBA player. Are you serious, man? Six foot ten. What a pace the game is. Farrell on the other end, the answer. Appling the push at Holes. Count it. If it goes. Rolls out. Appling comes to the line. Exhale. Catch your breath. What a start in East Lansing. Meet Mary. She loves to shop online with her debit card. And so does Bill, an identity thief who stole Mary's identity, took over her bank accounts, and stole her hard-earned money. Unfortunately, millions of Americans just like you learn all it may take is a little misplaced information to wreak havoc on your life. This is identity theft, and no one helps stop it better than LifeLock. If Mary had LifeLock's bank account alerts, she would have been notified in time to help stop it. LifeLock has the most comprehensive identity theft protection available, guarding your social security number, your money, your credit, even the equity in your home. You even get a $1 million service guarantee. That's security no one can beat. Don't wait until you become the next victim. Call 1-800-611-9850 and use promo code NOTME for 60 days of LifeLock identity theft protection and get a document shredder free. Call now, 75th anniversary of the NCAA tournament. The great players, well, Magic Johnson honored here. He put that banner up with his teammates in 1979. Great early start. One point lead for the Spartans. And here's Samantha Ponder. Hello, Sam. Hi, Mike. I can't hear a word you're saying, so hopefully you didn't tell a joke. But I will tell you that Tom Izzo told me today that one of his goals is to keep Keith Appling out of foul trouble. They haven't had much depth in that position after concussion-like symptoms for Travis Price kept him out for the last in emergency situations. And guys, if you were wondering how intense these guys were during shoot-around today, Derek Nix went up for a dunk and broke the rim. So we've got two good rims now, but they had to get that one fixed. That's right. They had to get it before Susie Merchant's outstanding Michigan State women's team got to practice in here. And you see Nix on the bench momentarily as Appling 
comes to the free throw line. I'm going to ask Magic, 79, you guys win that title. You beat the number one team in America, Indiana State, Larry Bird. How do you equate that in your career with winning those five championships with the Lakers? Well, the college championship was the most exciting championship I ever won. You know, you're kids, you're innocent, you, you, you're playing for the love of the game, and uh, playing for Michigan State was an honor and, and, and just a joy. Appling 0 for 2 at the line. We'll see he is checked in. For Indiana, Michigan State brings in Matt Costello, the freshman from Bay City, Michigan, whose time has gone up, along with Denzel Valentine, a freshman who, like Magic, played his high school ball here in Lansing. He's very physical, Costello. Had a nice moment in the game against Michigan, which you did. Eight points, six rebounds. Watford out top, knocks down the three, so Christian Watford it's his first field goal after missing two threes, and the Hoosiers back up by a bucket. Tell you one thing, he stretches the defense. With his range as a shooter, Mike, he stretches the defense, which opens up angles inside to Zeller. But see, that shot that came off a driving kick. Indiana might be the best driving kick, kick team in all of basketball. And then on the defensive end, Watford challenged the Harris shot. Appling missed the three. They can test for it. Payne's going to be called for crashing in on Zeller. Michigan State foul. Well, here, here, the point guard driving, taking the defense with him, kicking it out. And this man has been on fire. You talked about that, Dick. He's been on fire, and he knocked down the three-point shot. That was reminiscent of you penetrating, kicking it out to Donnelly, kicking it out to your buddy Berkovich, to all your guys, Kelso. <laughs> That's right. Pretty good memory, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Senior Derek Elston has checked in for Indiana. Elston coming back after missing the first 10 games of the year with left knee surgery and playing a significant part of the rotation of late. Got to really find Watford. He can really stroke that ball. Farrell knife took that. So Yogi Farrell, the McDonald's All-American, has extended the lead to four. As Denzel Valentine drives inside and kicks it for Payne for another three. Hey, that big guy can shoot the rock. He can shoot the rock, squares his body, and again, off penetration, Magic. Well, we're watching two seven-footers put on a, sh a shooting clinic <laughs> right now <laughs> on both sides of the, uh, of the court. Farrell has nothing inside. Payne clears the glass. Bad shot by Farrell right there. Bad shot. And Athlon step on the sideline. A turnover for the Spartans. NBA doubleheader tomorrow night out of the All-Star break. Day ahead of the trade deadline. Kyrie Irving leads the Cavaliers. If you haven't seen him, check him out. Taking on New Orleans and then the Celtics and Lakers. That rivalry renewed as always in Los Angeles. NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm. Of course, the Lakers 10th in the West Magic. Can they make the run for the playoffs? They must go on a hot streak, win about 10 in a row if they're going to make the playoffs. Sheehy, who did not miss in the game Saturday against Purdue. Nine for nine, Indiana record. Elston from the outside. He knocks down a three. So Derek Elston, who had only hit two field goals all year, gets his first three, and the Hoosier lead is four. Well, you know, you look at the Hoosiers offensively, you think about efficiency. They are second in the nation in scoring. They are fourth in the nation in field goal percentage. And they really have great balance or offensively. You can't defend any one guy, Magic. And they really get their hands on basketball like... They did just then. Ola deep over the flexion. What a block inside by Payne. Tremendous play. That kid's stock is going up, up, and up. This stuff's going up like yours, Magic. All the Dodgers, shopping balls. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. I'm so proud to see what you've become. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Farrell guarded by Valentine here with a shot clock at 10. Farrell got free off the screen. Three Hoosiers all over it, and Farrell starts the trip again. You know, Farrell's really improved. If you look at his stat shooting, they're not really impressive when you look at him, but if you look at the latter games, he's gotten better and better. She, he was nine for nine against Purdue. Nine for nine. You know what I really, I'm really impressed with is Indiana's patience, especially on the road, hostile environment. They've been, they've been really patient on offense. Watford, long, Valentine was knocked out, and Ted Valentine, the official, has the call. These two friends, Tom Izzo and Tom Green, coached together for four years here at Michigan State. They hate going against each other. Their team's in a battle early on. 
The nation's elite take the ice for hockey on BTN. Watch them blast the slap shots, bring the big hits, and light the lamp with sensational goals. Don't miss hockey, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings, Friday on BTN. The Buffalo Wild Wings trip to the Big Ten Tournament sweepstakes. One grand prize winner receives a trip for two to the entire Big Ten basketball tournament, complete with air and hotel accommodations. Enter right now at btn.com slash tournament. The IRS ruining your life. I've had people call in, and the IRS is currently taking up to 90% of their paychecks. And it's gotten to the point where they can't put food on the table for their families, let alone commute back and forth to work. Ameristar Tax Centers has a team of experienced enrolled agents and tax professionals that are licensed to represent you before the IRS. They can stop the collection activity, negotiate with the IRS for you, and get you maximum relief. We have some of the best tax professionals in the industry. That's what we specialize in, helping you. And we're going to be here for you every step of the way. We'll take the weight off your shoulders so that you don't have to deal with the IRS anymore. We've seen the impact and the power level of the IRS personally. And I would never want them to try to handle that battle on their own. Ameristar guarantees not to charge you a penny unless we can help solve your IRS problem. Call for your free tax relief information now. East Lansing with Dick Vitale, Irvin Magic Johnson, Samantha Ponder, Mike Tirico, Indiana leads by four. I mentioned it going to the break. These two coaches, it's very hard for them, such good friends, to go head-to-head -head against each other. Here they were as Tom Cream spent four years as Tom Izzo's assistant before moving on to take the Marquette job and then subsequently the Indiana job. They talk, they text, they stay in contact with each other. They feel it so hard. And remember, of course, John and Jim Harbaugh, the brothers, went against each other in the Super Bowl. And Tom Isso told me this afternoon that Tom Green, who's, of course, brother-in-law with the two Harbaugh's, he said John Harbaugh said it best. What a great problem this is to have, that you're going up against one of your closest friends, somebody you care so deeply about. They both said, without knowing the other guy said it, I root for him every game of the year, except obviously the two weeks go against each other. Magic, you had it with Isaiah Thomas and Larry Bird. You become friendly with people, but yet you compete, and that friendship has to be put the pause button on a little bit. Mike, I wanted to be both of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody has to lose, but hey, they're great friends, and they will be, no matter who wins this game, they still will be great friends after this game. You know what's really amazing? Tom told me on the phone, he said he had a meeting two second year here, Tom Cream was part of the meeting. The place was a lot of red when Indiana came, yes. and they had to change it. Yes. And they changed it by winning, and they've changed it. You see now, it's all Spartans. Tom Cream referenced that in our conversation today. For the first time in five games, Travis Trice, back in for Michigan State, missed the last four wow, with brilliant. concussion symptoms, and that is very important. Sam told us earlier about his injury. He's the backup point guard. Valentine fights inside and misses. That's Alex big, Gauna can't save it, and Dick, it's Indiana ball. That's a big plus with him giving him some minutes at the point guard slot. Play 30 in the first matchup. You got to be really careful with a head injury. Well, Sheehy on the drive, and an offensive foul is called on Sheehy. That's the first Indiana turnover of this first half matchup. You, you know what I li really love about both teams? Here's the charge right here. Both coaches feel confident in going to their bench players. Mm -hmm. And so... You're going to see a lot of players play because both coaches feel they can put the guys in and, and, and also either take the lead to another level or they can hold the lead. You know, it's always amazing to me when you see a lot of kids sit in the pod. You give them a scholarship, they're going to be able to play a couple of minutes. That's right. They're going to be able to play a couple of minutes. How much can that hurt you? That is foul number two on Will Sheehy. So Sheehy, who was 9 of 9, as mentioned a couple of moments ago in the game... Saturday against Purdue picks up two fouls in 10 seconds. You know, Mike, as you said earlier, it's hard to believe that Indiana has not won here 17 trips. Last time they won, February 28, 1991. They had a cool left-handed sophomore by the name of Calvert Chaney and a diaper dandy, a young kid by the name of Damon Bailey. That was IU's second trip here to Breslin. Dawson, tough shot. As he releases and knocks it in off the glass. Calvert Cheney now on this Indiana staff, director of operations and player development. Terrific young guy, going to be a future head coach. Cheney, the all-time leading scorer. That was a great basket by Dawson off the backboard board. 
This one, Jeremy Hollowell inside over Dawson. Taken away by Trice. Spartans for the top. Oladipo. Oh, so oh, he's wow. done it already. Blocks, deflections, steals. One of the best defensive players in the country. Well, that's what makes him special. He's not only a good offensive player, here he is in transition defensively. I'm telling you, and I want to emphasize mini, mini. I'm not saying he's Michael Jordan, but on college level, I saw those things out of Michael, what I'm seeing here. A mini version, Magic. And you're exactly right. And a kid who works hard to get to where he is. What I like, he never quit on this play. He timed it perfectly, just like Michael used to do, just like LeBron does in the NBA, the same thing. That's what I was thinking. The LeBron chase down block. Travis Price with that air ball now comes to the bench. His first action back. They've done a good job right now keeping the ball away from Zella. And there's Oladipo again. Stops a three minute and ten second scoreless drought for you know, IU. I look at the NBA draft list and I see all these charts. Four Kentucky kids in the top 17. I guess Oladipo is rising, rising, rising. I mean, he is going to be in the top seven. I even say maybe higher. Yep, you're, you're absolutely right. You can't find athletes like that that can shoot, that can defend. He has a whole total package. Speaking of... Gary Harris, the freshman with a beautiful drive, cuts it to three as Oladipo chases down a near turnover. Harris going to be a big-time star. There's no doubt he's one of the impact diaper dandies in the country. Made Watford dribble that time, but he's called for the foul. Raise your hand if you've got savings whiplash. You know, from car insurance companies shouting, save 500 bucks over here. No, save 300 bucks over here. Wait, save 400 bucks right here. With so many places offering so much buck saving, where do you start? Well, eSurance was born online, raised by technology, and majors in efficiency. So they're actually built to save you money. And time. And whiplash. eSurance. Now back by Allstate. Click or call. Can't contain your excitement for the season? Then the Big Ten Digital Network is your outlet. Get extra games, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, and more all on your computer. Plug into the game. Sign up now at video.btn.com. Sunday night, see how the events of the week in the Big Ten impact college basketball's national landscape as the conference's finest continue their quest for a championship. Big Ten Basketball and Beyond, presented by Barbasol, Sunday on BTN. Look at those numbers right there with a freshman. Pretty good freshman up on top. Did you ever see him play? Did I, you ever see him play? I've never seen that Magic Johnson guy play before. <laughs> he was overrated. Yes, way should've overrated. Should have went with the Titans. Exactly. He would have owned the city. <laughs> Magic's freshman team as the pass goes inside. And Yogi Ferrell gets the layup. Good job off the inbounds. And a five-point Indiana lead. Magic's freshman team, 25-5, and five, won the Big Ten. But, Mike, that's what Coach Izzo told us earlier. He wanted to prevent those backdoor yes. cuts, and Indiana just scored on one. Yeah, he was very upset. Defensive people didn't beat him to the ball. And he missed the dunk because he got fouled on the push by Yogi Ferrell. 25-5, and five, not a bad freshman season that you had, followed up by that national title season. Tell me what you're seeing so far watching the Spartans in person and courtside here against a terrific Indiana team. I, I love what I'm seeing from Michigan State. Look, early on in the season, both Payne and Knicks were not playing well. So the Spartans were not playing well. Once both of those big men started playing well, the Michigan State Spartans have taken off. I thought Tom Crean made a great point to me this morning. Dick, he said... Draymond Green, who was one of the great Spartans, who's now in the NBA with Golden State, he gave them so much. Well, the man at the free throw line, Payne, is giving them some of the outside shooting from a bigger player that Green gave him. And Derek Nix, with his little deft touch, is giving them the passing that Green used to provide. Well, you know, Thomas O. told me, he said, he has really elevated his game, where he has become a legitimate pro prospect. That's right. When well, you talked about Ola Depot improving and working on his game this past summer, the same thing happened for Payne, and that's why he's playing so well. He worked on his game this summer. Last three trips, guys. Nix has been working hard to deny Zeller a catch to initiate the offense. They've really done a great job keeping the ball away from Zeller the last five minutes. He started off on fire, but he hasn't had a touchdown for the last five minutes. 
Yeah, yeah, but he's got to demand it, Dick. He's got to come out and say, look, get me the ball, especially on the road. The superstar's got to play well. What a play. Again, a read by Oladipo, as he knew Knicks was going to spin that way. Comes up with a takeaway. i got to believe he's going to be my choice as player of the year in the Big Ten. I don't know if there's any doubt about it, Victor Oladipo. Magic Zeller was calling for it there. Yep. That time he got it. Comes across inside, but couldn't finish. Should have dunked that ball. Exactly. Should have dunked it. But he saved won. by Remy Abel. Zeller can't get that, and Dawson clears the glass. No numbers for Applin. Dribbled off his foot, though, right to Gary Harris. It really matched up on Harris, taking away the three. He knocked down five in the first matchup. He's a terrific shooter from the perimeter. Shooting better than 42%. I love that type of dandy. Shot clock down to 10. Zeller with the quick hands, the deflection taken away by Watford. Give it to Doc. Give it to oh. Zeller went for the dunk, and he got fouled by Payne on his way up. So Cody Zeller's got a couple of free throws when we come back after the under eight timeout. All you got to do there is communicate, hook pass back, and you got to lay up. Yeah, well, he went to dunk at that time. <laughs> Biggest race of the year. And no matter what, I was gonna win. And that's when I realized that some things are more important than winning. To teach us how to give. Including others. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. I thought Red Cross does Katrina. They don't help single moms. Hi. What happened to our house last year it about your birthday? It flooded and the water flooded out. Yeah. The Red Cross mm -hmm. arranged the hotel for us. They gave me that break, that leverage, to be able to get it together and uh, take care of them, you know? I feel like we've come full circle. Like that? Mm -hmm. This is how I'll do it. There you go. They are the men who paved the way for current Big Ten athletes, coaches, and administrators. Celebrate their stories as BTN presents Black History Month, Football Pioneers. Friday at 9.30 Eastern, only on BTN. When the game is over, our team breaks it all down. The Big Ten Finale presented by Reese's. In-depth highlights, expert analysis, and insights you won't find anywhere else. The Big Ten Finale presented by Reese's. Tonight, only on BTN. As advertised, Victor Oladipo, another sensational defensive effort in this first half. I tell you, he's with a deflection. We watch him here beat the guy to the baseline, creates a turnover. He's missed a bunch of his defensive transition, the great block shot, perfect timing, and then he finishes it off offensively, knocking down a three. To me, he's the best player right now in the Big Ten. Magic, you asked Tom Crean before the game if he saw similarities with Dwayne Wade, who Crean coached at Marquette. And he said, he did too. He said one thing to Wayne was he was very patient on offense, and now we're seeing the same thing from Victor being patient, attacking, understanding when to shoot, when to pass. But I'll, I'll say this first of all, on that last play with Zeller, bad foul by Payne. Yes. He's playing great right now 10 points, 5 rebounds. Michigan State can afford to lose him. And then an excellent play by Zeller. Last time he didn't go to dunk it, Dick. This time he went to dunk it and drew the foul. Yeah, he went really strong to the basket. So many players, I really believe, Magic, don't know time, situation, strategic things. They just play. They don't think. Use the cerebral like you did as a player. You were right into the game from the moment it started. Well, you got to have, when you this good on both sides of the floor, when you when you're Indiana or Michigan State, you got to have somebody who is the quarterback and who can get you in and out of the plays or tell a guy, hey, you need to go to the basket. And both of these teams have guys like that. So Payne on the bench with two fouls. Nick's over there as well. So a smaller lineup here for Michigan State. And the takeaway at the top started with the deflection by Farrell. And it'll be a jump ball with a possession arrow giving it uh -oh. to Indiana. Hey, guys, I found out today Syracuse hosts Georgetown on Saturday. Final Syracuse-Georgetown game at the Carrier Dome. 
35,000 seats sold. Complete oh. sellout. 35012. Sad the city's rivalries coming to an end. The landscape of college athletics has changed drastically. The greed of the dollar, football dominance has taken away so many beautiful matchups. I, I hate to see this happen to college sports. Remy Abel comes all the way. Valentine challenges him, blocks it, and it's out of bounds off of. Nice play by Valentine. Oh, the play Indiana. here, Carlton Valentine. He won two state championships at Sexton High School today as a coach. They said it was off of Indiana. Let's take a look at it via replay. It was clearly off Appley last. The officials were screened out. They had to talk about it and didn't get it right. Mike, Michigan State guards are over dribbling. That's why they're turning the ball over so much. Yogi Ferrell. Magic picks up his second personal foul they got as little, Appling was going in. they got to get a little bit more ball movement. Yes. Yes. You know, you mentioned officials. I want to say this, and I really believe it. I think the time has come with the dollars that are being made in the NCAA, the millions coaches are getting big dollars. We should have full-time referees on the collegiate level in Division One, so they can really just dedicate themselves to blowing a whistle, you know, Reviewing after games, I think it's vital. And they also, the second recommendation, I think you should go to five fouls to six. The game is too fast-paced now, and too many key players are sitting on the bench. People come to see kids play, not sit on the bench. Well said. Appling. If Appling misses, and the foul on the push. Going to be on Indiana. That'll be 17 fouls on the Hoosiers here at the 536 mark of this first half. Wi-Fi. Big Ten Super Wednesday presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. Andre Hollins leads the Gophers to Columbus for a clash with conference scoring leader Deshaun Thomas and the Buckeyes. Then, Jared Bergren and the Badgers hit the road for a battle with the upset-minded Wildcats. Big Ten Super Wednesday, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. Coverage begins at 6.30 Eastern with the tip-off show only on BTN. Appley's got to make that little jump shot. He's got to make that. You know, I know you've got a heavy heart here, too. Time for us to get into it. Losing someone that was like your dad and Jerry Buss. I remember you telling me one time, Magic, when the HIV situation came about, you went to tell Jerry at his house, and you cried like a baby with him, and he cried for two hours, and you knew how much he loved you. Yeah, he treated, he treated me like a son. You know, I, I got drafted at 19 years old, and, and so when I went to L.A., I didn't know anybody, but he took me in like I was his family, and uh, he, he taught me business, he taught me to make good decisions, and he helped me become a man, and I owe a lot to him. And so my, our prayers go out to the whole bus family. Two Matt Costello free throws. Three-point Indiana lead. Or hold by Dawson on the inside as Watford was trying to break free. And the Michigan State's fourth foul in this first half. You know, Mike, you and I were talking before the game about how important this game is to Michigan State. They have a road game coming up with Ohio State. They have the next one after that, a road game at Michigan, where it's going to be a hostile environment. It is mandatory if their priority is a dunk by the Depot, man. If their priority is to win the Big Ten, they better win here. They better win here, Magic. No question about that. <laughs> that Oladipo, no. what, what a move. Threw it off the defender. That was an unbelievable right. play by Oladipo to take this lead up to five. Well, Dick talked about it earlier. The guy's playing with their head. Well, he's one of them. He's going to be... The if he comes out, he will be in the top five, no question about it. I Here's the play. Here's the play, Dick. Oh, he just just took it right off of Costello. Wow. <laughs> You're talking about Cerebral, the math of high school. What did he tell us before the game? President Obama invited 10 kids from the math to go to the White House, and he was one of the 10? Yeah. And there was an event at the White House, and Oladipo, as you said, not just athletes, but all students at the math, great high school in the D.C. area. He was one of the 10. Dwayne Wade happened to be there. It was at the time that Tom Crean had started recruiting Oladipo, so he kind of saw all this coming together as Costello misses the front end of the one and one Saw it all coming together. He asked Wade about playing for Crean. Obviously high praise, and here he is now, Victor, playing for Indiana and stays in touch with Dwayne on a regular basis. Valentine missed the three, rebound by Jordan Holmes, who's just playing well. Up five here 
Better stages of the first half. And Oladipo. Rebound Sheehy for Indiana. So far, Michigan State's done a good job keeping the three ball away from Holmes. Oh, what a drive. And Oladipo's coming back to the line. Samantha Ponder. Yeah, in the last timeout, Tom is a very upset with his post players. You mentioned him going to a smaller lineup, but specifically with Knicks and Payne. He was upset with the way they were handling the double team, saying they were turning right into it. They're also giving Zeller way too many touches in the post, guys. We'll see how they come back from that. Tell you what's really big, you alluded to it. Payne getting that second foul going to the pine is really big. Yeah, it's really hurt them offensively, especially. And, and this, one, yeah, this was just a moment ago, Magic. You see Tom impressing upon those bigs. As you've said, their improved play, the reason Michigan State has risen to number four. And inside, it's been more Indiana here thus far tonight. I want America to understand something about Victor, too, as well. This young man on the free throw line. He's also going to graduate in three years. That's incredible. That's how smart this young man is. Yeah, he's a real total player. Hey, let me ask you this, Magic. Tom is so flirted with the NBA, with the Cavaliers owned by Mr. Gilbert, a Michigan State guy. Would he have been in an NBA coach? Yes, because he understands how to deal with all the egos. And so, because in the NBA you're dealing with 12 egos, Tom would understand how to deal with the young men as well as get them to play team basketball. Pretty close move by Alex Gonup. It ends a five-minute field goal in the street for the Spartans. And Indiana leads by five at the four-minute mark. That was a big basket there, posted up on the inside, spinning going over his right shoulder. A three from Holmes. Good rebound, Valentine. Holmes has not made a three yet. Not getting any looks. Shooting too quickly. Shooting too quickly. Valentine crashed the glass, keep his trip alive. Three for Valentine, an air ball. Good contest on the shot, too. And back the other way comes home. Say one thing, Indiana plays on both sides of the floor. They may be an offensive machine, but they really defend as well. Watford, he hits the three. It was so loud, the players couldn't hear the whistle. And Jordan Hose wasn't sure if a travel was called on him or not. Ted Valentine said no, and they played on. And the three knockdown gives Indiana's largest lead at eight. Anytime you have a size like Watford, you're going to get a chance to play at the next level if you can make shots like he can. Well, see, that's the difference between the game right now. Indiana, they're hitting their threes and their outside shots. Michigan State, they're missing theirs. Yeah, Michigan State not shooting well. He he. He misses. Rebound by Ghana. With Hannah Mascara Perea. There for Indiana, trying to force the turnover. Well, got to give him some good minutes right now. We talked about the schedule. They've got to win this game with a journey to Buckeye land and a journey to Wolverine country. This is a critical two-minute time period right now. Yeah, Tom Izzo was, I believe, trying to get a timeout. Let's see if that's correct or not. This is critical for Michigan State right now. It really now. is. There was some confusion as if the timeout was called by Michigan State. These next two minutes have been, you got to make a little spurt here. Yes. Tom Green talking to Teddy Valentine. Still trying to confirm at the table exactly where the timeout was called, what the game situation is. So as they sort that out, we step out. Watch for the three. The lead is eight. I was just going to throw my old phone in a drawer. But then a friend told me about Gazelle.com. I was amazed how much I got for my used iPhone. They paid me cash for my used iPad. I got cash for my MacBook and my Galaxy S. I got paid fast. They even paid me for my broken iPhone. They paid the shipping, too. It couldn't have been easier. So how much can you get? How much can you get? How much can you get? Find out now at Gazelle. That's Gazelle.com. A month of free gas only at D. Patrick Honda. Why should you be behind the wheel of a Honda? Because it's a Honda. Their dependability is unmatched. They look awesome on the road. They feel amazing to drive. They are incredibly fuel efficient. Why should you get yours now? On top of the fantastic fuel you'll get at D. Patrick Honda, we'll give you a month of free gas. That's with any new or certified used purchase. But only at D. Patrick Honda on the Division Street Auto Plaza. 
Are you in pain? Are you experiencing trouble locating a physician that understands? Are you in need of a pain management provider? The Pain Management Institute in Evansville is now accepting insurance including in-network with Anthem, Indiana and Kentucky Medicare and Medicaid and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Call 812-473-4011 in Evansville for your prompt evaluation today. The Pain Management Institute. Board. Chris and Seth, thank you. 32-24, Indiana leads by eight. Let's just clear up what happened on the other side of the timeout. There was confusion amongst the officials if Michigan State was asking for a timeout or not. So it was just an inadvertent whistle by the officials. And since it happened under the four minute, it's the first dead ball. So thus it becomes a timeout. Not taken by either side. Michigan State has 15 to shoot. Payne remains on the bench with two fouls. Gary Harris guarded by Jordan Holmes. Payne's done a good job keeping the three away from Harris. Acrobatic attempt at the finish and the foul on Watford of Indiana. His first with free throws coming. Well, the journey to the tourney continues. Saturday, Dougie McDermott, one of the top players in the nation, leads Creighton against another good player. The senior sharpshooter, Matthew Delavadova. St. Mary's in Creighton. That's part of the Ramada Worldwide Bracket Busters, Saturday, 6 Eastern ESPN. You know, you mentioned McDermott. I would say my three top guys from National Player of the Year is weekly because of what happens with teams, how they play. But I would have Oladipo there, Trey Burke there from Michigan, and also McDermott. Those three guys, to me, have been a step above the rest. Have you seen McDermott? Yes, he can shoot that basketball. He, he's a poor man's Larry Bird. <laughs> They're going to come up with some defensive stops. Maurice Creek handling at the top. Watford from the outside. Body by Ghana, who's trying to close out. And three free throws coming for the best free throw shooter in the Big Ten. Yeah, that's really, really, that's not really intelligent basketball right there. Guys squaring up for three, you make body contact. That's like giving them an automatic three. The kid shoots close to 90% magic. Well, you know what? There's not a team in college basketball that I've seen this season that has everybody on their roster can shoot the three-point shot like Indiana. Yeah, they got great balance. Unbelievable. They got like four guys that can make 40% or better from the trifecta, and they shoot really well on the free throw line. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. you believe this? Watford is 100 of 120, 83% at the line, and he has 20 misses all year, and two right here. Well, that must be the is zone, man. The is zone. They didn't have the U.S. zone when you played. No. <laughs> at the Judd zone. Exactly. <laughs> I remember Judd once telling me, he said, the 2 3 zone, man, is dynamite. I said, Judd, you keep the 2 3 zone. You give me magic. <laughs> <laughs> First, well, Judd, Judd Heathcote, the legendary coach. Both of these coaches were assistants for him. Harris, a three. His shot has been off in his first half. Valentine chased it down. Great right oh, play. To Nick. Great oh, play. That was a magic oh, play. That was a magic play. play. He looked one way past the other. But he saw you. He's got a big lift from Valentine. Michigan State has. Now they got to keep this game close by halftime so that Payne can come back in the second half and give him some scoring punch. That was a terrific play by Valentine. A great no-look pass. Jordan Holmes with a silencer. He knocks down his first three-pointer of the game. That's lethal when you got a guy who can put a three in like that. It just takes your heart out as a coach. They've been doing a fantastic job. Indiana driving and kicking. Finally, here's his one for Michigan State. Harris has got a great future. He's a wide receiver, a superstar in football. Tough catch inside, and Harris goes up and challenges the shot. Out of bounds, an IU ball with exactly a minute until the half. See, what I like about Zeller, Magic, his passing ability from the post. Guys cut off him, and he will find them. You know, he, he reminds me a lot of Gasol for the Lakers. He can go outside, shoot the jumper, yes. get in the post, shoot the turnaround jumper, go left or right hand hook in the post, and he's smooth like Gasol as well. He's going to get stronger physically because he's a young kid. Oladipo chased it back down. Watford finds the line. Off on the jumper. Nick takes it away. Used his body really well there. This is a big possession right now. Get a little momentum if you score. Mm -hmm. Go to the locker room, get the crowd in a frenzy. 
Tom Izzo's going to take it down to 20 on the clock and then take a timeout and use that use it or lose it timeout that he has here in the first half. He meant 20 on the shot clock, not 20 on the game clock. He and Appling miscommunicated on that. If you go to the computer, the RPI, seven of the top 28, a full quarter of the top 28 in the RPI, represented by these Big Ten teams. And this is the battle for first place with Indiana and Michigan State. Too clear, but Michigan and Wisconsin at 9-4 and four, still alive. And as both of you mentioned, Michigan hosting both of these teams in Ann Arbor coming up down the stretch. Yeah, no doubt about it. You know, you said it earlier about them conference being the best. There's no doubt whatsoever. I don't need the RPIs. I got the right down Bull Dome Index, the DBDR. <laughs> you just need the eye test. The Big Ten, every game is an incredible battle. No Deep shot clock. Appling tried to get into Knicks. Too tight, too tough. Turned it over. Indiana ball with 6.2. And that's Tom Crean will use his use it or lose a timeout. I don't know about the rest of you in America. When you walk to work today into the office, did you go buy a statue of yourself? Wow. That's the statue of Magic Johnson, wow. Lansing Zone, outside the Breslin Center here. Pretty cool to be back for you, Irvin. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. really cool. I tell you, this has been a crazy and great atmosphere. Let me, let me say this about this Michigan State team. They got to go into halftime and say, look, we can't give up both the inside and the outside shot. They got to take it away, one away from They from worked Indiana. on this at the shoot-around. A shot for Watford going to the back. Get Valentine took away that angle. You don't want to can't get the there. shot off. And the half comes to an end. That was an important stop right there. Had an important stop. The Hoosiers, the number one team in the country, take a six-point lead to the locker room, trying to win here for the first time in 22 years. Tired of faded bumpers, foggy headlights, weathered, sun-damaged vehicles? Introducing Wipe New, the world's longest-lasting solution for restoring and protecting your vehicle. And we guarantee it to last for years. We applied Wipe New to the driver's side of this vehicle. We then sent this car through over 100 powerful car washes. Wipe New never faded or washed away, proving that the results will last for years of real-world environmental exposure. <laughs> I don't think I ever seen it, Brad. I got it about two years old and I've never seen it shine like this. Don't spend a fortune on temporary fixes. Order now and we'll double the size. That's enough for two cars. There's still more. Order now and get the Pro Detailing Kit with the Headlight Applicator Bonus. Just pay separate shipping and process. Order now and get it all, plus a two-year guarantee. To get your Wipe New Detailing Kit, call 1-800-334-6517. Wipe New comes with a two-year money-back guarantee and is not available in stores. So call 1-800-334-6517 today. Set your eyes on the grace and skill of gymnastics on BTN. The top performers in the Big Ten look to achieve victory for their schools in important meets. Big Ten Women's Gymnastics, presented by Pure Silk, only on BTN. Tickets, all-access audio and video, official merchandise, and the latest info on all 18 Boilermaker teams. PurdueSports.com, part of the Big Ten Digital Network. Set for the second half here in East Lansing. Number one, Indiana on top by six. Lots of folks watching, lots of folks tweeting. Our social media check, Tony Dungy, Super Bowl champion coach. Tom Izzo, his team playing the number one team in the country here today. Yesterday, he held practice a little bit early so he could be at the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame dinner honoring Mateen Cleaves and Steve Smith. And coach Dungy with a shout out via Twitter. And Jared Sollinger, who's our regular Tuesday night Big Ten tweeter. Happy birthday to Adrian Paints, his 27th. He knows his birthday and he doesn't want to lose tonight. Mike Tirico, Dick Vitale, Magic Johnson, and Samantha Ponder. And he said Payne getting those two fouls really hurt the Spartans in the first half. So where does Indiana maintain to come out of here with a win as number one? Mike, I think it's important that you go inside the Zeller. He only had six shots. He was three for six. Getting him the basketball. Superstars win games on the road. And he's going to have to take them home in the second half. Well, i tell you one thing. You know a little bit about a superstar. But I think you might have been one. And I'll tell you, on the other I know side, he was. He was what? Yeah. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> but I'll tell you this. On the other side, I think Apley's going to start to create plays and 
put some points on the board. He got a little bit out of control, and they got to get some looks for Harris, Magic. He's got to get some looks. He can shoot the ball. That's right. One of the top five freshmen in all of college basketball. They got to get Harris involved, Michigan State. Okay, the one thing they did well, Michigan State, is they really kept Indiana pretty much under control and going to the free throw line. Because the stat I talked about earlier is mind-boggling. They have made 521 free throws, and their opponents have only shot 389. Exactly like the first meeting in Bloomington three plus weeks ago. Six point Indiana edge out of the locker room. Same 10 that started the game. Start the second half. Derek Nix backing down. Payne, nice pass in tight quarters to Brandon Dawson. Nice little inside game right there. Payne was so effective early, Magic. Had 10 quick points, two threes. Well, see, that was Coach Izzo making the adjustment. They knew the double team was coming from the baseline side, so he found the open man that being Nick's to Payne and then Payne to Dawson. Payne couldn't squeeze that miss by Zeller. Yeah, it's hard to believe that Indiana has not won here since 1991. That is mind-boggling when you think about it, a program of that stature. Well, we have to remember, during that whole time, Michigan State was one of the top ten programs in all of basketball. Jordan Hulls hit one three in the first half. Zeller from the outside, showing that complete game, Irvin. I'm telling you, you got to get him the basketball because tonight he is on top of his game from the outside and the inside. Indiana's got to look to get him the ball more. He's just got a great skill set for a big player. It's going to be a foul as Zeller was contacting Knicks. Let's check in with Samantha Ponder, Sam. Mike Tom Izzo told me coming out of the locker room that, frankly, he's thrilled they're only down by six. He said it's very hard to win when three of your key players just flat out aren't playing well, and that's referring to Knicks, Appling, and Dawson. He said they've been passive defensively. I asked him what he told them in there. He said, guys, you just got punched in the mouth. What are you going to do when you get punched in the mouth? Hey, one thing, Sam, is a reason for that, though, too. Indiana has done a tremendous job helping out defensively, rotating over, and have closed off. But no coach ever wants to give credit the other way. No. They believe their players aren't performing. No question about it. Those three mentioned by Sam Appling, Dawson Nix had eight points in the first half. Dawson unable to get it in, and he asked for the timeout after the four count. So it's a no timeout, but a turnover, and Indiana ball. Poor job executing. You can't turn the ball over like that on your own goal. Chance to get a deuce. I mean, that's tough when you're trying to win, beat the number one team in America. you got to really minimize those errors. Freshman Yogi Ferrell sees an avenue open but couldn't finish. Rebound by Payne. Spartans down a half dozen. Appling going all the way to the basket. Second time, he almost had the end one. If you had a choice between going bald and a full head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. Yes! You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. But the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven and permanent solution to hair loss, call now to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration. Plus, we'll also send you this $250 gift certificate just for calling. Every day you wait, you're losing more hair. So don't put it off any longer. You owe it to yourself to find out the facts. Choose hair. Choose Bosley. Call 1-800-575-9668. That's 1-800-575-9668. Before the ball goes on, expand your basketball knowledge as our experts discuss the matchups to watch, interview coaches and players, and set the scene for a spectacular night of hoops. The Auto Owners Insurance Tip-Off Show, tonight on BTN. Women's basketball plays on BTN. The Big Ten's best put their fire and passion on display and leave it all on the floor during top matchups throughout the season. Big Ten women's basketball, tomorrow on BTN.
They had a lucky break down here. Yogi Ferrell was right there for an open layup. Yeah, you know what? Both guards have got to finish. <laughs> Neither point guard is finishing in the lane once they get there. So Appling has got to get himself going. And here from the free throw line, maybe he can start that right now by knocking down these two free throws. Came from such a great high school. They're undefeated this year. Got a couple of young, good players on that team. Pershing, they had some. Will Robinson was a coach there years ago. Will Robinson was the first half. American to coach in Division One, coached at Illinois State, and he coached Doug Collins, a terrific humanitarian. Any basketball player that came through the high school ranks of Michigan was touched by Will Robinson. Yes, sir. Kathleen bags the pair, four point Indiana lead. Nice rotation, good back spin. But my grandsons are watching and understand about that rotation backspin. I try to isolate him with his quickness against Nix. Nix defended him well. Oladipo weak side, crashing the glass. Dawson couldn't keep it in bounds. Stays with Indiana. You know, Nix did a good job with his footwork to stay and not allow Zeller to make the turn on him. See, watch this defensively right here. He's going to beat him in the spot. See, he beats him in the spot. He's going to shoot him over me. I'm not going to allow you to make that turn. Hey, Tom Green, 78 and 78. 50 and 12 in his last year and a half. Unbelievable. Came in, program is in disarray. He's done a magnificent job. Interesting stuff here, guys. Denzel Valentine early for Brandon Dawson, who had been ineffective, and Tom Izzo letting him know. That is ruled off Harris. Not Farrell, and it will stay with IU. Well, he started, Tom Crean started getting the Indiana players. And when he got Zeller, it turned everything around for him. Jordan Hulls, the senior from Bloomington, started it. Part of two 20 lost seasons. And there's the man you talked about, Magic Zeller. Off the miss, fighting with pain. Four on the floor, it'll be a jump ball, and the arrow keeps it down here. Well, the one thing when you play a Michigan State team, you know they're going to get up on the glass. That's been a trademark of Tom Izzo. In fact, Nick said, hey, we are not playing to the level of the Michigan State's reputation of getting out of glass. He also said, the media doesn't give us respect. I told him tonight, I said, you want respect? Beat the number one team in America. You'll get all the respect in the world. That's right. <laughs> well, right now, to me, Indiana is out hustling Michigan State. And Magic, that was interesting now as Dawson comes back in for Valentine. Dawson, Izzo wanted to grab him, get his attention. Let's see how focused he comes back out here as Indiana's getting a third shot on this trip. Holes a three. Love watching him shoot. Jordan Holes, one of the best in the country, 12th in the nation, just under 50%. That's like a layup for him, Magic. If he squares his body, catches the ball, you got to be up in his face and make him put the ball on the floor and run the bounce. Well, Michigan State knows that, and they just let him have a set shot, three-point shot, and he knocked it down. Nick says Watford wanted to back him down. Spinning. And gets the two. Terrific move by Nick. Saw you before the game with him. And I can see his eyes light up when you told him how proud you are, how much he's improved. Yeah, he's really worked on his game. Also got his weight down now, that being Nick. And now he can play a lot longer. He's a kid that's totally underrated, Mike. Yogi Ferrell. You talk about him defensively. Young freshman coming in. Put the ball in his hands. Watford silences the crowd. When he makes shots, their level of game goes way, way up. Dan Bakic mentioned that, and I couldn't agree more. When his game is really on fire, they are so tough to beat because they have so many ways on the floor that can beat you. Point guard, and a post, and on the wing. Well, I'm going to tell you, watching Indiana up close, this team will be the favorite to win the national championship. Yeah, I mean, they, they, got, they got everything. The coach, the players, everything. They had a chance also to play in Indianapolis in the regional final, possibly. Harris, wild oh. release as they got oh. pumped by Zeller. Oh. What a finish by the first. Oh. That's a magic move. That's a magic move. And Zeller right back at the rim. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You the best player in this building, that being Cody Zeller. You take, take charge and be aggressive. Dawson got caught in between. Good rebound by Zeller. Big time rebound by Zeller. 
And the out push that ball. Oh, what a shoot. shoot. Right house. Go to the basket. Big turnaround right there. Big turnaround. This is rocking, baby. Foul on Payne, who hit the deck hard. And picked up his third personal foul. And might be shaken up. Oh, smile, Tommy, baby. Smile, Tommy. Come out and check on his injured player, Adrian Payne. Oh. As we get a timeout. Sterling United Federal Credit Union has been serving the community since 1956. At Sterling, you will find straightforward, low-cost services without gimmicks. Our Check Plus checking offers a no minimum balance fee. That's right, no minimum balance fees on checking. You also earn interest on your checking with no monthly fees, plus fee-free ATMs all around town. Remember, when you're looking for personal, local service that's simple, visit Sterling at any of their five convenient locations or at sterlingunitedfcu.org or call 425-0111. Are you in pain? Are you experiencing trouble locating a physician that understands? Are you in need of a pain management provider? The Pain Management Institute in Evansville is now accepting insurance including in-network with Anthem, Indiana and Kentucky Medicare and Medicaid and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Call 812-473-4011 in Evansville for your prompt evaluation today. The Pain Management Institute. So Pat Driscoll and Ted Valentine have an interesting decision here along with the third official, Larry Soroto. That foul was called on Adrian Payne on the floor, but there was contact made above the shoulders, automatic review. And you decide as Christian Watford is driving, is that arm naturally out there? No, I, I would call a flagrant there. I don't like calling flagrants, but I'm telling you, I would call a flagrant foul. There is no way that that was, that was utilized to create space. And he put that elbow out and made contact above the shoulders. I would call that a flagrant two shots to the ball. If I will on that referee crew. At first, I thought it was a natural move. It looked like his natural move, but when you saw it from a different angle, it was a, a it was too high. It was a fragrant foul, no question about it. So as the trainer continues to look at Adrian Payne. See that look, look at the left arm. He throws the arm out, right? right. He throws it out. He throws the arm out. And Pat Driscoll had the initial call with the arm on the body of Watford, which is why Watford originally was not called for a foul, it was called on pain. Can't have that in basketball. And Can't now, have. Ted Valentine calling both Tom Crean and Tom Izzo, the good friends. Remember, Crean was on Izzo's staff here for four years. Call him together to tell him how this one's going to play out. It's an interesting call because the foul on the floor is that foul initially on Michigan State and on pain. And so they'd have to reverse that, and it's a big call because it would be three on pain. Well, it's two shots in the basketball, too. And the bottom line, Mike, why have the monitor and have the use of it to determine that? I mean, that was clear cut. I got one eye, Magic. I got one eye, and I can see that. It was the right call. Did they call two shots in? Did they call it a flagrant? Well, the final ruling was you leave the foul on Payne on that contact, but a technical foul, as you heard, called on Christian Watford, which means Michigan State will get two free throws and the ball because of that. Absolutely. I think that was the right call, a good piece of officiating. I definitely, I couldn't agree more with that. I mean, Watford's a, a very clean player. He just got himself where he was trying to create space, but he can't do it like that, Sam. Yeah, guys, I just talked to Michigan State's head athletic trainer. He said Adrian did take an elbow to the nose. His nose is bleeding a little bit, but he said it's not that bad. He will be available to go back in. All right, Samantha, yeah. Quentin Sawyer's been busy the last few weeks. We've seen multiple injuries on the Spartans. So the technical means two shots in the ball for Michigan State. Get a personal foul on Indiana. We don't like the rule yet. You got it right. Ted Valentine coming over. Keith Appling now. We'll shoot the tees. 
Give me a turnaround, Mike. I'd like to score down in time if this happened. 15-27. 45-40 at the time. You write it down? Yeah, I'm writing. Good, Dick, thanks. I write like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Can't read my writing. Hey, it's a pleasure being here with both you guys. Really, I can't tell you how really honored I am being a two champion superstar. There's Watford. He As knows he, he found out. Yeah, he knows he made a mistake. He's a good kid. So the personal foul on Watford because of the technical. So he gets to his third foul. And Payne has three for Michigan State. So both players with three. Both to the bench. Travis Trice, first action in five games. Back in for the Spartans. He can shoot the three, Trice. But you know what? Where is Michigan State going to get their offense from with these guys out on the court, though? Half wing missed the three. They would have tied the game. Players get tangled. Going for the ball. That's a great point you made right there, Magic. They are limited offensively with the people they have on the floor right now. They have hustle players, scrappers and corners, but can they put point production on? Tough to see, even in the replay, let alone live. A real Indiana ball, so it doesn't become a four or five-point trip for the Spartans. Off the technical, Indiana leads by three. If I'm Indiana, I'm going right to Zeller. Take advantage of this of the uh, bench player playing playing me right now. Right, he's got to walk the ball. He's got to seal inside. That's and right. Say, Bring me the one. Yep. Bring it to me. Play a little two-man game. Only deep ball and Zeller. Deep, deep. Wow. Are you serious? Wow. wow. He shot that from Magic's mom and dad's house. <laughs> I did Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Oh, what range he's got as a shooter. Jordan Holmes takes the lead back up to six. Valentine cannot get around Ola Depot. Well, he finally did. He scored. What a terrific play by Valentine. He's going to be a very good player here. He's very versatile, Magic. Magic, you were right. Matt Costello defending. Zeller demands the ball. That trip. You got to want the ball. Good defense by the freshman Costello. Jump ball, possession arrow to the Spartan. That would have been a five, would have been a five if the possession arrow went to Indiana after making a play like that. That's why I hate that rule. See, it was great defense. Great defense, but to me, Zeller should have took his time more and attacked him. Let, let the defense get away from him, let the cutters go through, and then go out and attack Costello, but he didn't do that. Catch it, turn, face. Yes. The crossover step. Exactly. Now, they want to double-check the arrow here, I believe. I said, that arrow drives me nuts, guys. That arrow drives me nuts. Because the bottom line is, the kid made a terrific defensive play. Meet Mary. She loves to shop online with her debit card. And so does Bill, an identity thief who stole Mary's identity, took over her bank accounts, and stole her hard-earned money. Unfortunately, millions of Americans just like you learn all it may take is a little misplaced information to wreak havoc on your life. This is identity theft, and no one helps stop it better than LifeLock. If Mary had LifeLock's bank account alerts, she would have been notified in time to help stop it. LifeLock has the most comprehensive identity theft protection available, guarding your social security number, your money, your credit, even the equity in your home. You even get a $1 million service guarantee. That's security no one can beat. Don't wait until you become the next victim. Call 1-800-611-9850 and use promo code NOTME for 60 days of LifeLock identity theft protection and get a document shredder free. Call now, 1-800-611-9850. Tomorrow on BTN, Brandon Paul and the Illini look to add another win to their resume when they host DJ Newville and the Nittany Lions. Big Ten Basketball presented by Quicken Loans. Tomorrow at 8 Eastern on BTN. On a Northwestern edition of BTN Live Big, a look inside the journalism and media programs at the international campus in Qatar. And immigrants connect with others in their communities thanks to a special class. BTN Live Big Northwestern, tonight on BTN. Got a lot of 
at stake here. A lot at stake. You got possibly, you look at Michigan State, if they're talking about winning the Big Ten, this game is a must. We talked about it earlier. Playing at Ohio State and Michigan in the next two games. Here's the block. I think what we might have here, guys, clock. is a timing a issue. Yes, with the clock. Be able to go to the monitor and get a look at that. So Pat Driscoll looking into that right now. Big, big play by Matt Costello. A freshman has played only 112 minutes as the officials keep looking at this so they can get the time correct. Magic, that, that says a lot. You know, Payne, Knicks, Dawson, the combination not doing as much as Tom Izzo wants. Payne gets a third foul. And Costello just showed up in the rotation really the last few games. Comes in in a huge spot and makes a big play. Mike, you're right. But the main thing is you can do this right now when you're only down four and there's still 13 minutes left in the game. But sooner or later, he's going to have to go back to those main guys, Payne, Knicks, and they're going to have to take the Spartans home because Costello, role players, can't beat the number one team. You got to go with your stars. What they'll do is give you a few minutes, yeah. give you a body on the floor, let a couple of people, give you a defensive effort, but they're not going to score. That's right. Three seconds, but back on the clock. Michigan State's the win. This kid has to step up. Appley has to step up for them. Harris for three. He can do that. He can do that. He just missed the Indiana basketball. You know, this would be a sweet Dragon Rights W if he would have beat that. Zeller finds Farrell inside. They say play on. No whistle. Wow. Appley. Dawson chased by Hall. Spartans win. Since that situation with the flagrant, 45-40, it's been all Spartan. Costello with the block. Dawson on the run to Apple. Going the other way. Offensive foul. And what a job by Jordan Holmes to draw that offensive foul. Out of control. At the point guard slam right there, Magic. That, that was the wrong play. Nothing there. Pull it out. Just hold it. Because you got the crowd roaring. You got the momentum. You didn't need that. Just pull it out. Let's run a play. Keep this place jumping. You got the crowd into it now. They're going to come on your side, baby. They're going to come on your side. 7-0 Spartan run. Dick worse in Indiana go offensively to calm down. Well, I think right now when you look at them, you got to get, I got to get all the deep a little bit more about. And here he comes in. What is Costello doing defensively? It's unbelievable. This kid's a physical force. Payne is a cheerleader right now. Tom is going to love his effort defensively. His only defense. He takes the ball in as Costello from the help side. Right angle. What an atmosphere. College basketball magic. So unique. So special. The passion. The pride. You can feel it. You can feel it. Uh, it's, it's electric in here. And you got two heavyweights going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now. This like magic and burn, baby. <laughs> Blocking foul call. Basket counts for Zeller. Costello calls for the foul. He's going to take a one-on-one -on -one right here. Wow. I don't know how that counts. Yeah, I don't. He, he Continuation exists in the NBA. But then the, foul, the foul was before he went to release the ball, wasn't and, it? And, and, Dick, he took one more step. But let me say, Zettler, that's what you have to do. You have to face him, Costello, and then take him off the dribble and start trying to bag him in. Triple threat position. That's Stretch, right. turn, you can pass, drive, or you can shoot the little jumper because he can do that. We saw him put it on the deck from the very top of the key at the end of the game in Bloomington. Oladipo called for a foul. Cody Zeller, I've seen a lot of college basketball, is the most complete player I've seen in college basketball. Yeah, he can center. do it all he really as can. a center. Yeah, he's going to be a very good NBA player eventually when he gets a little bit stronger yeah. physically. Yeah. But he's only a young kid. He's only a sophomore. Great. Great family. All three kids are <laughs> either valedictorians or exactly. second in the class. Unbelievable. Speaking of youth, three Spartan freshmen on the floor. Harris to one of them, Valentine to the other one, Costello. Everything but. Rebound to Valentine. Harris for three. Valentine's had great vision. 
Tremendous offensive rebound right there. They come up empty with three opportunities. Oladipo has it knocked away by Appling. And everybody needs this timeout under 12. Living up to the buildup in East Lansing. Number one leads by two. The nation's elite take the ice for hockey on BTN. Watch them blast the slap shots, bring the big hits, and light the lamp with sensational goals. Don't miss hockey, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings, Friday on BTN. The Buffalo Wild Wings trip to the Big Ten Tournament sweepstakes. One grand prize winner receives a trip for two to the entire Big Ten basketball tournament, complete with air and hotel accommodations. Enter right now at btn.com slash bwwtournament. Big Ten Super Wednesday, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. Andre Hollins leads the Gophers to Columbus for a clash with conference scoring leader Deshaun Thomas and the Buckeyes. Then, Jared Bergren and the Badgers hit the road for a battle with the upset-minded Wildcats. Big Ten Super Wednesday, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. Coverage begins at 6.30 Eastern with the tip-off show only on BTN. How about Magic Johnson with tonight's lows? Never stop improving the freshman Gary Harris. Well, he's one of the top five freshmen in all of basketball. We saw the offensive move. Now we're going to see the three-point shooting. And now we're going to see some defense as well. Gary Harris is doing it all for the Spartans tonight. One of the three freshmen on the floor during this stretch as Michigan State has brought this game back to within two. You see Harris's numbers, 15 points. He's the leading freshman scorer, Dick, in the Big Ten at just under 13 a game. You know, I'll tell you one thing, Mike. When you look at the stat sheet, you're not going to see much in the paper tomorrow for Costello. But those three block shots were unbelievable. Gave the crowd a big lift. Certainly gave the team a big lift. And he's really earned a lot more PT playing time. Costello had two blocks against Nebraska in eight minutes on Saturday night in Lincoln. And the kids only had three blocks, as you saw, in the entire Big Ten season, matching that or surpassing it, I should say, here tonight. Quick inbounds to Zeller, and a foul called on Michigan State and Costello. You see, sometimes though, talent would take over. Now, that was a that that was a foul that he shouldn't have committed because now he's feeling good. Now Nix is going to come in. He'll probably get a good hand from the crowd because Costello did do a wonderful job of bringing the energy back into the building. That was a silly foul, you're right, Magic. Yeah. No question. Team fouls are four apiece. Remy Abel has checked in, along with Will Sheehy for the number one team in the country. Indiana Hoosiers at 23 and 3. Zeller is short, rebounded by Nick. They're going to show some patience offensively right here. Athlete for three and the lead. Shot the ball too quickly. No patience at all. You got to have patience and poise. Holes pull up, knocked down, triple, Jordan Holes again. He's a big time shooter, man. There are many guys in America that can shoot the rock the way that kid can. Great rotation, great fo follow through, squares his body. And what I liked about him on that play was he made the defense go all the way into the paint, and then he pulled up. It was a great move. Denzel Valentine is fine. I think they got to find himself a really good player that night for Danny. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Denzel Valentine's got a great vision. Denzel Washington, by the way, played a little basketball at Florida. That's right. And the P.J. Bellissimo. He's one of my favorite actors. And the guy is in another world. Really, really didn't see us going there. He's too active. He's too active if this guy wants to play basketball. Here is Denzel Valentine. Has it knocked away? Touched it last. Michigan State turnover, Indiana ball. Tomorrow night, ESPN2 is the college hoops. The Red Hot Providence team at the Carrier Dome to take on Syracuse. Kansas and Oklahoma State, a big one out of the Big 12. Winner tied with K-State atop the conference. And Washington takes on Arizona. Right in the mix in the Pac-12. Wednesday night hoops presented by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. You know, Adrian Payne back in, Dick. You mentioned some top freshmen. Have you seen Marcus Smart of Oklahoma State? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. No question about it. And that team is playing well, Oklahoma State. They beat Kansas at Kansas. Michigan State doing a better job defensively. And the one thing they're doing, really a good job at keeping Indiana off that free throw line. 
They have averaged like 10 points more than their opposition per game. Will Sheehy knocks down the outside shot. Missed his first two after making all nine in the last Hoosiers game. Tell you one thing, Sheehy's going to be in a running for best six man in basketball. He gives energy. He makes shots. Harris out of the corner. Rebound by Zeller. Cody leading the break. Remy Abel. Nowhere near the rim. Gets bailed out with the foul call. Really got the ball up the court. They're really running well. A little showtime. All of you guys in L.A. I was just getting ready to say that. Every time Indiana gets a defensive rebound, they are pushing the ball in offense, uh, on the offensive end, and making things happen. Pull up threes, driving kicks, layup attempts, and now just going to the basket and getting fouled. You know, Magic, I really believe on any level where you play, whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, if you're strong at the point, the wing, and the post, you have a great opportunity to win. Just like you now, when I think about you at the point with the Lakers, you had Worthy on a win, Kareem inside. Tough to beat when you got three guys in that ability. Well, well, you know, when you think about what Tom Crean has built here at Indiana, he has everything to win. You got superstars. And Zeller inside, Victor, who's the best athlete in all of college basketball, on the outside and, 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 and blocking shots defense and playing great defense. And then you got shooters all around him, Hawes and Watford. Unbelievable. We'll play by Sheehy to deny Harris the first time. Can't get the end one, but we'll come to the line after the foul on Will, his third here at 936. Will Sheehy, his third foul. Well, you talk about Magic having a little bit of everything. The guys in the candy stripe warm-up pants, Indiana. Eight players, more than ten minutes. Five players in double figures. And the bench has contributed throughout the season. You know, also, they lead the nation in the margin of victory. Better than 21 points a game. Lost that heartbreaker to Illinois. Had that game won. Illinois was a must situation. Almost like Maryland must when they beat, in the end, when they beat Duke. And also, we got this weekend, Missouri and Kentucky, a must win for Kentucky if they want to get to the big dance. You got to win those games. But they lost a heartbreaker. They lost a tough win to Wisconsin at home. Bottom line is, this club lost a tough game to Butler. That's their other loss That's their in their overtime loss, yeah. in Indianapolis. Three losses by a total of nine points this year for Indiana. They've had a phenomenal year. But all those teams you just said would be in the NCAA tournament right now. So that's pretty good to lose to those teams. He, he, no on the three. Travis Price the board. Finds Payne, attacks the rim. I'm telling you, man, that kid's stock is going up and up. Yes. He can shoot the three, he can attack the rim, he can rebound, and he's got something you can't teach. Size, length. If, if I'm any NBA coach, and if they're playing for Tom Izzo or Tom Cream for Indiana, I'm drafting that player because you know they know how to play basketball. Holes turn on the shot. Rebound Valentine. What an effort they get out of Valentine, Mike. He has been terrific here tonight. His dad was a low post player, about 6'6". Coaches Sexton High School, won two state championships here in Lansing. Travis Trice. To the basket. Couldn't finish. Nicks over the back. Calls for the foul. Good call right there. Nicks climbing over the top. Take a look at Payne right here. He's going to catch it. He's in triple drop position. He sees the lane. Goes right in. Changes from the right to the left. And it's Jam City, baby. Up, up, and away. The elevator man. Mr. Payne. I tell you this, when they recruited him, Tom Izzo told me this kid has a chance to be special. Then he went a little bit up and down in his career with injuries, and he told me the other day, Tom, he said he has now become what I thought. Yep, and next year he'll be even better than he is this, this year. Oladipo, how about the incredible quick reaction and the physical response as Harris came out with a hard head? And, and, the, and the hang time, too. <laughs> and the agility and mobility. Yes. And the hang up there. You can't teach that, man. That's Jordan-esque right there. That's Jordan-esque. No he's not so. Michael Jordan, so please don't tweet me. Don't tweet me and say I'm saying he's Michael Jordan, okay? I'm saying he's a mini version as a college player. 
to me is a combination of Jordan and Dwayne Wade. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Adrian Payne working in on Zeller. A lot of contact. No whistle. Hoosiers up four. Holes with the rod to Zeller. Oh, what a great pass. The catch. That would have been a terrific conversion. Harris the other way. Leaves for Appling, who's back in. Knicks has Washford. Will he take him baseline? No, going to come across. Great pass on kicking the ball out. Payne for three. And a terrific execution. Great look by Knicks. And then the screen to get the free for the jump shot. Terrific job. Mapling slaps the floor for the defensive possession for the Spartans. Down one. I wonder where they got that. <laughs> Duke trademark. Spartans play Duke like defense. Farrell the drive. Nobody. Ogie was fouled. He'll come to the line as we step out. The under eight timeout. Victor Oladipo's complete game on display for the second time against the Spartans. And Adrian Payne also responding into the Hoosiers as well. Journey to the journey. And perhaps a one seed tonight. We know you love Big Ten sports so much Who ordered the tall? that you want to take them with you. Excuse me? Really? Now you can. With BTN to go, it's the Big Ten network on your phone, tablet, or computer. BTN to go. Take it with you. This is a Big Ten Blast. I'm Carol Lentz. The top-ranked Hoosiers defeated fifth-ranked Michigan State 72-68 at the Breslin Center on Tuesday night. Despite playing on a sprained ankle, Victor Oladipo put on a show with an all-round performance and 19 points. IU had not won a game in East Lansing since 1991, and the win puts the cream and crimson in sole possession of first place in the Big Ten in the most recent updated conference standings. IU has four games remaining before the tournament, including a March 10th matchup with Michigan, who is currently tied for third. Michigan State sits at second with an 11 and three record. The tip-off show starts Wednesday night hoops on BTN. Ohio State hosts the Gophers and Wisconsin at Northwestern at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's going to do it for this Big Ten Blast. I'm Caroline. Chris, thank you. Well, Victor Oladipo scores three more points. Indiana will have four 1,000-point scores in the 113 years of Indiana basketball. They've never had four 1,000-point scores on the same team at the same time. But Watford, Holmes, Zeller, and Oladipo will make that quartet, which is three more from Victor Oladipo, who's had just an unbelievable Big Ten season. Better and better, it seems, every night. Well, he's had a great year all year long, Mike. But it's going to get better for Indiana as well. they got three real studs coming in. Noah Bonnelli, Troy Williams, and Stanford Robinson. The beat goes on and on. Tom Queen is flat out a recruiter, and he's got a great program to sell, Magic. Well, if you... When you think about trying to re replace a legend like Bob Knight, you know, it, it takes a while. You know, fans are never going to be happy, but I think they're very happy now with Tom Finn. Oh, I have to be happy. Really, he came in a tough time replacing Kelvin Sampson, but he did. Bob Knight, I've said it once, and I'll say it again. That building should be named the Robin Mo Montgomery Knight Building. No question building. about it. No question about it. Unbelievable what he achieved there in his career. Farrell missed the pair. Michigan State down one. Mixed baseline. Payne is the hot guy to the basket. And his fourth is lead by one. He was really terrific. I just put a tweet up during the break. I said, stop going up and up for Mr. Payne. He may catch you. Well, you know what was good? Coach Izzo giving him that little break. And now he's come out aggressive. And he's not worried about having three fouls. He has really amazed me with his agility and mobility, Magic. Watford Oladipo going to go the other way. Moving screen. Foul on Watford. People, think about what's at stake here. Both teams are 11 and 2. We have right now the number one team in America. First time ever two top five teams have played here in East Lansing. 
Big foul. Watford's fourth. He goes to the bench. Will Sheehy comes in. Well, Sheehy gives in a guy that can shoot, but obviously Watford's ability will be missed. But the problem, Dick, is who would take advantage of who? Will Knicks take advantage of Sheehy, or will Sheehy take advantage of Knicks? What a save by Oladipo the to the basket oh, for the lead. There's that quick bounce off the floor. Sometimes when you get those mismatches, you get out of your rhythm yeah. because you try to force the ball mm -hmm. in. And you get away from your flow. Oladipo, 11 steals in two games against Michigan State. You know, people have to look at that kid defensively as well as offensively. And that's why even the slightest edge will betray Burke right now, because I love Burke. Pain for the lead back. Bad shot right there. Bad yeah. shot. And no chance for that going in. Now every possession becomes big. Magic, because you knew so well, because you were so cerebral on the floor. The right guys have to shoot the ball now. It's got to be in the right player's hand. And also, too, you must not turn the ball over. Michigan State just turned it over. Indiana takes the lead. He finds Holes, who is free. Good shot fake. Kick by Harris. They did a great job closing out on Hulse right there. You're going to see the little steal right here. Keeps the ball alive, but he cuts without the ball. He didn't stay here and watch it. He got the steal, and he filled the lane. 45 degree angle, Jam City. I love Victor. Josh Clotry set to 15. Everybody on their feet here in the Breslin Center. I feel like standing up. I can feel it's going through my body. I got goosebumps watching this. This is one heck of a battle. Two Goliaths. Oladipo sizing up Atwood, takes it three very short. Good job defensively, that shot was not available. That's his first big mistake here tonight. Spartans can take the lead. Or, or, or finally, Mike, they're being patient. Michigan State right here and trying to get a good shot. Valentine, inside. He'll come to the line. See, my, in the act. my feeling, he posed here. Rather than exploding, go right to the basket. He starts to pose and hang. Do you agree? Well, you have to remember, he's a freshman, Dick, so freshmen don't understand. you got to take that all the way to the rim and try to dunk it to get the foul. But Valentine will get better. He, he has everything. His brother plays for the University of Oakland right now, who is a senior there. And so he's got that basketball knowledge from his dad and his brother. Hey, one thing he's got, too. Tom Izzo firmly believes in him. Here's a punch time right. in a big, big moment, and he's on the floor. Speaking of big moments of being on the floor, Oladipo sits for a moment. Watford back with four, with 4.26 to go. Think about that stake, people. Possibly a number one seed when you look for certainly Michigan State. I think Indiana's in great shape for yeah. a number one no matter what, but I think Michigan State must win this game to be in a running for a number one and also get a Big Ten title because of what they're facing in the next three games. Zeller wants the ball. Zeller wants the ball. I like that. I like that. He wanted the ball. That's right. He wanted the ball, Magic. Well, he's a superstar. Superstars got to deliver. It was a great move by Zeller. He just took it and went right over Knicks. And Did Knicks went down ball? awkwardly and slow to come to the front court. Appling drives inside. Had it deflected out of his hands. Valentine. There's some contact in there. I don't know if the punch of the ball hit the shot clock and out of bounds for one of the guide wires. It'll be Michigan State ball. It was out of bounds. Judd Heathcote, who was so instrumental in your career, Magic, yes. your coach here, who had Tom Crean on his staff for one year and Tom Izzo for many years, and Tom replaced him. As uh, Izzo told me, Judd's probably sitting back with a burger and a beer and really proud of what he's seen here tonight. Oh, no question about it. His footprint and handprint is all over this game tonight. <laughs> and you know what? He's, he's done an excellent job of working with both of these coaches. Look at the programs that both of these young coaches have built in Indiana and at Michigan State is unbelievable. You know what? So Quick inbounds to Knicks, blocked by Zeller. Knicks trying to get it back. Great block by Zeller. Yes. Great play. And Sheehy made an even better play to come take it away. Now you're going to lock up defensively. And the one thing that goes down the stretch, Indiana is very efficient at that free throw line. They got guys that can stroke it late in the game. Watford with four fouls. Zeller put it on the deck. Pitched it out. Watford couldn't save it. It goes out of bounds. Samantha Ponder 
Mike, in that last huddle, Tom Izzo not happy with all those steals you've been talking about for Oladipo, telling his guys they're just not working hard enough. Then he specifically talked to Derek Nix and told him he needs to stay vertical. He said he's fallen back and given them way too easy of a look at the rim. I would go to Payne, man. He's very quick with the basketball. He's got Zilla checking him. Here is Nix coming across the lane. Didn't convert. A pain tip kept it alive for Nick. Blocked by Zeller again. But he stayed with it. He stayed with it. Showed some tenacity, Roger. He stayed with the play. Well, well, you know what? Both teams are playing outstanding defense. And it's going to take who wants it the most to win this game. Good defense right there by the Nick. So much intensity and emotion. It's like a March man this special. 17 years in a row, Indiana's left field without a win. They have not won the year 17 straight times. Can Nick's. they break that tonight? Nick spinning. Stop. Great play by Nick. That's what you were talking about before the game. He's improving with his footwork, Magic. That's right. He's big time now in that post. And Tom Green's got to make a decision about Rockford. The intensity of both coaches. Timeout taken. Timeout taken, I believe, from State. Both coaches are so intense on that side. Let's see, Ted Valentine had a whistle. I don't know if it was a timeout or what it was. It was coming from the baseline over there. He gave Tom Green a timeout. Raise your hand if you've got savings whiplash. You know, from car insurance companies shouting, save 500 bucks over here. No, save 300 bucks over here. Wait, save 400 bucks right here. With so many places offering so much buck saving, where do you start? Well, eSurance was born online, raised by technology, and majors in efficiency. So they're actually built to save you money. And time. And whiplash. eSurance. Now back by Allstate. Click or call. Are you in pain? Are you experiencing trouble locating a physician that understands? Are you in need of a pain management provider? The Pain Management Institute in Evansville is now accepting insurance, including in-network with Anthem, Indiana and Kentucky Medicare and Medicaid and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois. Call 812-473-4011 in Evansville for your prompt evaluation today. The Pain Management Institute. Critics are raving. Anna Karenina is an epic love story that smashes the boundaries of film. Something's happened. Not something, everything. Time Magazine calls it ecstatic, rapturous, intoxicating, and modern. This is love. A spectacle that has to be seen to be believed. From the director of Atonement comes the best love story seen on film in years. Kira Knightley, Anna Karenina. This is going to be interesting because Rockford cannot handle Knicks on that post for Michigan State. Got four fouls, and size-wise, Knicks is bigger than him. So Coach Cream's going to have to make a big decision here. What is he going to do? Who is he going to put on, on Knicks? Now, I want to focus here on the review. It had to be Timing. something on the action along the baseline with Knicks defending Zeller here down the stretch. That's why Ted Valentine came over and stopped play in the middle of that play as Nix was defending Zeller on this play. This is the play that was going on a second ago. Oh, oh he made contact. You know what? He made contact. Yeah, he did. And if we go back, guys, Nix got hurt a moment ago and Zeller was driving. Zeller, with his elbow as yes, he sir. turned, got Nix below the belt. So let's watch this now. Retaliation to, to here. the right of Farrell there. There's no doubt about it. No doubt about it. He touches him with the elbow yep, there. You yep. see that magic? Yep. There's yes, no place for that. No. no place for that in basketball. Play the game. Play with good sportsmanship. Play the game. Don't ruin it because of some stupidity and some immature action. And Knicks just scored four big bats. Yes. Starts, two big bashes for four points. And then the go down with all the momentum has switched to Michigan State. Now 
now you're possibly going to get two free throws for Indiana without them have to even take a shot. That There's was, no place no, for that no. in the game. You don't want to injure anybody. You can hurt somebody there severely. Right. And we were screened out by the people standing. Yes. I didn't see Zeller double over there. And Ted Valentine didn't do did the right job right along the way. Now, we need to show these replays to the officials who are determining this. But I think we've got the genesis of what Nixon was trying to get payback for from earlier on. This is a blown-up look. Oh, you see where he got him. And Ted Valentine saw it right away and blew the whistle to stop play. And then Valentine will come over and tell the Indiana side and Tom Crean what's going on. They couldn't see anything clear enough, I believe, to make a call is the indication we're getting from the table on the opposite side. So what happened is the explanation is from what they saw was not enough to call a flagrant one or a flagrant two. So nothing called there, just the Indiana ball. Indiana ball down on the baseline, nothing called. It looked like, you know, I don't think Zeller would have reacted like that if nothing happened. But they couldn't see anything clear enough even when we blew it up on replay there. And as I said, I have a problem with earlier, that Zeller, I have a problem with that kind of had elbow Nix. And interesting enough now, Tom Izzo has Nix on the bench and Matt Costello on the floor. Well, he's going defense or offense here, Costello, because of his defensive ability. You know, you used an analysis in the Ohio State game about the time of the game to make that play good goal. Remember that? Yeah, but this, this, if they could have seen it clearly, yeah. they would have called it. They just felt they couldn't see with a 100% certainty that there was an elbow maliciously below the belt to Zeller. Oxford oh, up three. He's off the mark, rebounded by Michigan State. We approach two minutes, and the Spartans lead by three. But one thing that you lose, you just went to Knicks twice. He delivered twice, two big baskets. Now you don't have that opportunity because he's on the bench to go to him. Tom Izzo takes a timeout with 20 on the shot clock. Before we get to Michigan State inbounds, I want to share with you from earlier on. This happened at the 404 mark when Cody Zeller made this hoop on Derek Nix. It doesn't look like there's anything malicious here, but Nix takes it below the belt with the Zeller elbow, and then perhaps in retaliation, Nix trying to hit Zeller back. No foul called on the first one, which is in the process of a move. That one, nothing was going on. Zeller complained. They reviewed it. No whistle. No foul. Harris on the drive. This foul's going to be a block on the Hoosiers. Got a real lucky break right there with that ball. A lucky break. And it came late, too. Should have converted that. Yeah. Should have converted that drive. He goes to drive down the lane. He's got an open layup. The defense comes over. Now he's got the layup here. Doesn't convert. They call a foul on a block. 12th best free throw shooter in the conference. Short on the first one. Harris is 76% shooter. Got to convert right here. Yeah. Young kid's got to make these count. Makes the four-point game. Because the two possessions, you get a score here. And Indiana is all, always in the game because of their three-point shooting ability. That's a great point. Number one, down four. Their biggest deficit of the night. And they're a favorite at number one. They're a fa the favorite rather is Michigan State. The Watford put it on the deck in the lane. And what a strong move. What a great play by the veteran player. You talked about an earlier match. Great players want to make the big plays. This kid has been playing really well for them the last five games. A monster play by Watford. Monster play. Well, they ran a clear out play so he could take advantage of, of his speed and quickness going up against a bigger man in pain, and he took it and scored. He'll never make a bigger play than he did against number one Kentucky last year. The foul on Payne was his fourth. So Payne and Watford both have four. Will Sheehy comes in for Jordan Holes defensively for Indiana. Not only are we seeing both teams play well, but the coaching strategy of both of these guys have been amazing. He saw Payne. Coach Green saw Payne guarding Watford, said, let's go to him. 
and he delivered for him. Like he Samantha did. Ponder asked Tom Green at halftime, this is high-level chess tonight, the match of the two coaches. Watford makes the free throw, one-point game. Remember how big this is to Michigan State. The next three dates, Ohio State, Michigan, and Wisconsin. This is a must-win for the Spartans. Right now, you got a good, good spacing. Oh, look at a big screen coming up by Mitch. Zeller oh, on contact as he came out. He calls for the foul. One and one for Ashley. But he had him. Zeller didn't need to reach. He had him, Ashley, just where he wanted him. And then he reached. That's where he got the foul. Yeah, watch this right now. See? There goes. The reach goes in. As soon as you reach, the whistle. As yes. soon as you reach, you're not going to get away with that. Exactly. CYO, high school, college, or NBA. Offense, defense, Holmes in for Sheehy. Here we go down now, Mike. Free throw line becomes big. You got to convert here in the last minute on that stripe. It's like special situations in football. One and one at the line for Appling. 76% shoot. He's been a real clutch player for them late in games against Kansas, Ohio State. Came up empty there. Came up empty. That would have been big. Conversions there. Indiana can take the lead in the final minute of regulation. Zeller thought about a drive. Turned away. I'd go to Old Depot, man. Old Depot's got right now. Timeout, Indiana. He's Tom got much Green. more quickness than Valentine. I'd go, I'd go with Old Depot in that sequence. Hello, kiddo. We're on the Oregon Trail. You're on a juice cleanse? Must be nice to choose what you eat. As if the snow rolls in, there's a good chance I'm making a meal out of your little great-great-uncle here. Eh. Listen, juice box, if you're not gonna eat like a man, could you at least shave like a man? Yeah! And stop talking about kale. I was just going to throw my old phone in a drawer. But then a friend told me about Gazelle.com. I was amazed how much I got for my used iPhone. They paid me cash for my used iPad. I got cash for my MacBook and my Galaxy S. I got paid fast. They even paid me for my broken iPhone. They paid the shipping, too. It couldn't have been easier. So how much can you get? How much can you get? How much can you get? Find out now at Gazelle. That's Gazelle.com. Can't contain your excitement for the season? Then the Big Ten Digital Network is your outlet. Get extra games, exclusive behind-the-scenes videos, and more all on your computer. Plug into the game. Sign up now at video.btn.com. Tonight, don't miss a great lineup of action on BTN, the Big Ten Network. Both teams have a tough stretch as they are two games clear of Michigan and Wisconsin. But Michigan State has a trip to Ann Arbor and will play Wisconsin. And Indiana goes to Minnesota next Tuesday night. And they play Iowa, an Iowa team that's hot too. And then we'll see them senior night at Assembly Hall against Ohio State two weeks from tonight. So we'll see the Hoosiers in two of those last four games on Tuesday. Well, I don't think there's any doubt that these clubs know that we're watching tonight, Magic. We'll have a shot in March. We brought March Madness. They have all the points. They're well coach. They got inside, outside games. And they will be major factors in the run for the national title. With this conference being so top, I mean so close, and having so many great teams, once they get into the NCAA tournament, teams won't know how to play Indiana, Michigan, or Michigan State. So they'll have a great chance of winning. 20 on the shot clock. Oladipo works on Valentine. Farrell on the curl. Yogi to the basket. Tipped in by Oladipo. Oladipo, nobody blocked him out. Nobody blocked him out. The kid is a flat-out winner. He took advantage of his crack. Nobody put a body on him. And he went right to the lane for the tip-in. Timeout. Michigan State. Ten-second difference in the game in the shot clock. Victor Oladipo just waiting to see if it got out of the cylinder for the putback. And it did. What a good timing by Oladipo just as it cleared the yeah. front of the rim, Magic. Well, see, you had a freshman in the game, Valentine, guarding a veteran like Victor. And he, like Dick said, he didn't put his body on him. And then Victor went in and tipped it in.
in. Again, it's just simple basketball. Victor has done so much here tonight defensively. That's a good offensive rebound. He's just a complete player. Complete player. But right now, it's in the hands. 39.5. Plenty of time on the clock, Magic. This is when you excel. Your eyes would light up right now. Well, I think he's got to go to his mismatch, go back to Payne or Knicks down low, and then let them either get a foul or get a good shot. Guys, let me remind you, as you see the two boxes up, Florida at Missouri, number five in the country, underway. The game's currently on ESPN News. We'll get you there to Columbia as soon as we're done here. A reminder, number two, Miami is on ESPNU, taking on Virginia. So four of the top five in action right now on the family of networks. Ten-second difference in the clocks. Knicks, Payne, Harris, Appling, Valentine. The five on the floor for the Spartans. You know, Magic, the offensive rebound is always a threat late in a game like this. People immediately go for the ball, and a guy comes from the help side with an offensive rebound. Here is Knicks trying a double. Can he locate anybody open? He cannot. Bending in. Valentine bails him out, and a timeout taken by Tom Izzo with 11 on the shot clock. Both picking up their dribble. That's a no-no in basketball. Picking up that dribble. Especially when you been double teamed and then his teammates got to run to him to help him out to try to bail out Knicks. Tom Green was looking for a travel call as Tom Izzo was getting the timeout call. He's on a little dance on that sideline getting that timeout. So come on, guys. Come on, guys. Go, Patrisco. Get that T.O., baby. What's at stake? You're Michigan State. You're at home. Indiana has not won here since 1991. All the Hoosier fans, man, that'll move into that pipe and everything else. Kill Royce is jumping down there. This is the fifth time Michigan State has played number one at home. They lost to those great Ohio State teams in 61 and 62. Lost to Indiana in 76, the undefeated season. Lost to Illinois in 2005. And beat Wisconsin, Drew Neitzel led them in 2007. 3-18 all-time against number one. Yeah, number one, they beat number one with Indiana State Magic in 79. Beat Wisconsin, as you said, in 2007. And beat Louisville in the finals of the week. 2009 when they were number one. Gary Harris. Shot clock's not running. The game clock's not running either. Harris to the basket. Shot no good. Payne tries Plus to save no it. Running. It's out of bounds. We have a clock issue both yes, ways. Sir. It's Indiana ball. Tom Cream was yep. livid about it. Livid. He sprinted there. Yep. Both clocks did not, not run. Running. Yes, sir. And it'll be Indiana ball because no whistle was blown that I heard. And they'll go reset the game clock based off of the replay. They got to go to the monitor, man, and see how much time. They got to see how much time was elapsed, Mike. They got to go to the monitor. So the shot got off in time. Watch some live action here. And you saw neither clock move. And listen for the whistle here. Right there, I'd say about 7.7 .7 seconds rolled off. So that should be about 14 seconds on the clock. And Indiana ball with a one-point lead. And Michigan State sitting on eight fouls, so a foul would be a one-on-one one one at the one. other end. A one-on-one, and, one and they can shoot fouls, especially if it's holes. If, if Indiana can't get it inbounds, and it's a spot throw where you can't travel the baseline, so Michigan State will obviously do their best to try to stop them here. Yeah, I think what you do is try to go for the steal first and, and then foul. Then foul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a little bit less than around that. that. You're right. Watch it again from the deflection. You know what? One point seven. What I like is they always going to get it right. So that's what yeah. you like, yeah. especially if you're Tom Cream, Coach Tom Cream, being from the visitor side. He wants to make sure that some of that clock runs off because he deserves that, and it's the right move. It's about getting it right. There's yep. no question. Yep. It's about getting it right. You don't leave here knowing you didn't make the right call. Yep. Especially in a big game like this, man. Oh, you got so much at stake right here. So it's good stake. Hard hole. Lost 
1.9 seconds, so it's down to 11.2. You're becoming a mathematical genius here. <laughs> I see you right there with all the math. Good, good, Magic good, and I are looking at you. So what is he doing? Intense. You know, you never go too far without a stopwatch. You never know when you're going to need it. They used it at the table. I can tell you, it's not the first Michigan State sporting event we've seen with clock issues. There have been football games where there have been issues over the years, but Watford to him has a tough spot to throw it in. Over near the sideline. Got a deny right now. Harris got a deny the ball to Hollis. You don't want Hollis to get that ball. Valentine helping defensively. Leaking oh, out. Look at this. Look at this. It's a three point game. Michigan State still alive with 10.1, and they have a timeout. Remember this now. I would foul. If he gets down to six seconds, five, I would not let him shoot the three. Here is Appling, and the timeout is taken with seven seconds remaining. Down three. Great awareness as Oladipo broke free for the dunk. Watch well, Oladipo right. right here. Well, well, what happened was last out-of-bounds play, when the clock didn't run, he broke free. And what Cream did was he went over and told Coach Green, hey, I was free last time. They ran exactly the same play. That's why he got the dunk. Well, they were so concentrating on Halls, everybody wrote to right. over. And he was like a decoy right there in release. Right now, if I'm coaching, I'm telling you that, guys. I know there's two schools of thought, and I can respect both. But my feeling is, man, Magic. It's coming down here, down the stretch. Kids concentrate shooting that three. I think the three is too high percentage of a shot. I would let him use a little time, put some pressure, and then foul and make him have to make two. We get the ball. I know you said, well, if he misses, he tip it in. There's too much that would have to happen for you to lose. You know why I agree with you? Because Indiana is such a great free throw shooting team. I would make it become a free throw shooting contest. You're right. Foul. Make me shoot. You can say go to the line, turn it into a free throw game. We've already seen Michigan State with a miss in the last couple of minutes at the free throw line. Spartans went up 67-63 with a minute 25 left. Indiana scored the last seven points of this game. And we should also point out situation involving Knicks with the zone. I really think that broke up some of their momentum. That's right. He went out of the game. All right, here we go. Final seven seconds. Valentine triggers. Harris, Harris can shoot it. Harris he the top shoot steps it. back. That's fouled. Shooting the three. And that is why so many coaches don't Zero. want a foul. It sounds easy to always say it. Sheehy commits the foul. Three free throws for Harris. Yeah, but you foul him like before he's going to shoot in position. you got to practice that. You don't foul him as he's shooting in three. I mean, that's a no-no. Anybody tells you don't go and foul a kid shooting in three. You foul him as he's dribbling the basketball. You drill him. Harry Harris, you practice that. Harry Harris at the line. Five of six. Three free throws to tie the game. He missed one earlier. He misses that one. Now what do you do? Michigan State is out of timeouts. Izzo tells him, make this one. And then the next one, they'll have to go Miss. crash the glass without timeouts. Try to tip it in. Try to tip it in. Makes the second. Interesting now. You have Payne. You don't have Knicks out there for Michigan State. And now they're going to get up and get him in. Good job by the assistants getting on Tommy Zola to make yeah, sure. Yeah, they want to get size yes. on the lane. Got to get size on the lane for a tip in. He's got to try to miss this deliberately. So Zeller and Watford inside. to try to screen out Payne and Nix. Got to put a body on him. Put a body on him big time. Harris trying to miss intentionally. Does. Rebound. Oh, Depot And the foul call with two and a half left. We'll go to the other end for a one-and-one one for Victor Oladipo. And I want to make it very clear, in a fouling situation, late magic, you foul the guy while he's dribbling, right. not in the art of shooting. No question about it. You know, for this guy to have his ankle turned the last game, Victor has really actually won this game himself. He took the, the game over, and if he can knock down these two free throws, and Indiana ends up winning is because of him. Yeah, he made a couple of big plays. He also was sensational defensively yes. with the steals, forcing turnovers, yep. deflections. He's a complete player. He's Mr. Versatility. He can guard three people on the floor. It looks like Indiana finally is going to get Here's Oladipo for 
a four-point lead, knocks it down. It's over. No timeouts for the Spartans. Two and a half left. Zeller it's deflects over. the out of bounds, the ball out of bounds. Two point three to go. And Tom Green screams at every Indiana player, no foul, stay away. They are going to be a tough team to beat come postseason. They play that regional, they'll be in Indianapolis. They will be tough to beat there with that crowd. Atlanta is short, and Indiana comes into East Lansing respect. as these two great friends. Such respect, such respect, admiration. They love for one another, competitors. First time since 1991, Indiana has come to East Lansing and heads back to Bloomington with a victory. 17 consecutive losses. But Victor Oladipo with a great effort. Cody Zeller with 17 points. The four guys who carry this team in double figures as Michigan State loses at home for the first time this year.